today I'll be installing the rear trailing arm bushing. Uh, this is the original part. And this is the part that failed. This thingy. Uh, the bushing's totally deteriorated. There's a rattling sound when I drive the car. Uh, it's just very annoying. So in order to remove this whole thing, I have removed, uh, I used 17 millimeter socket for, for the bolts that's up there. That's one, and that's one on the other side. And then I used pliers to pull this out. And this one too. I will remove this. I will uh, remove this bolt right here also. That's attached to uh, this back here. I will remove <coughs> uh, the brake caliper. Uh, it is just held on by two bolts. Uh, let's see if we can see it. Right here, and on top is another one. I will probably have to move the the brake pads out of the way first, and this bolt down here too. I believe they're all 17 millimeters each. Let's check. Yes, this bottom one is 17. Uh, the caliper bolt is not. Ah. This one is 17. Alright, let's see what happens after I remove them. Okay, so my advice is to take off the bottom bolts first. There's one here. Uh, one holding the, the shock, which is facing uh, inside of the car. I would remove this one first um, and then this one and this one they're all 17 and then at the end uh, this top one is also a 17 and before you move that last one remember to put a jack underneath so it doesn't just collapse down so I have everything uh, taken off uh, now just slowly and then I'll put it on my bench press. Another thing is you don't have to remove the uh, the bracket right here. Just leave it on. Okay. Okay. When you're taking it out, uh, remember to remove the uh, the speed sensors right here. And there's also another uh, plug. Right there, just use the pliers and just pull that out. And then just muscle it out. Okay, so I took a wire brush and I cleaned this side and this side too. And then I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I will make a mark from here to here. That is where this edge right here is straight. Okay. And same for this side from here to here. And when I put on the new one, it's going to match that up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take my reciprocating saw and just saw off a notch so that this ring will pop right out and then I can press the new one in thanks so I cut this ring off with the reciprocators reciprocating saw and I'm gonna press this back in see how the uh, the line that I made uh, it's gonna line up with this line same thing with the other side from the top angle 
maybe a little bit okay all right let me set it up on the press so this is my setup the trailer arm on a stool this is my press and this is the setup i have a ring down here with metal plates and i'm just gonna push the bearing uh, bushing right down okay it's been perfectly pressed in all the way around and then i will be installing this back in all right let's get to it <laughs> 